Hi everyone and welcome to Rampage or Ram Through. I, Mike Lane, Tony Schiavati, and Paul E. Dangerously here. And today on Rampage or Ram Through, we are going to see Holy Fellow Nicholas, Father Yule, the Heavenly Gift Giver. You know, Santa Claus here today on Rampage or Ram Through. Well, you do know that we've been seeing Santa Claus, you know, in almost every show this week, or at least, you know. And some folks wonder when we're going to see Jesus, when will he show up on the show? Well, I have a belief that he will show up on the show soon. We just, we only just, we only don't know when, Tony Schiavone says. Yeah, we've been seeing Holy Fellow Nicholas or Father Yule, you know. Or Santa Claus, or whatever, whoever you want to call him, Paulie dangerously says, you know, I'm Jewish, so so I really don't know that much about uh, about why Christian folks, you know, believe in someone who is made up, who gives them gifts on Yule. It's almost like asking us Jewish folk, do we believe in gathering a lights Harry, who gives us gifts on a on the eight nights and eight days of the gathering of lights. I would have to say no, Polly dangerously says. But anyway, is it isn't a thing, Polly dangerously says, or is it not? Well, we're gonna see him. Ho ho here he comes. Ho ho ho. Happy old. It's me. Holy Fellow Nicholas, also known as Father Yule to some folks in the Four One Kingdom, also known as Santa Claus to the rest of the uh, to the rest of the world, and sometimes also known as the Heavenly Gift Giver. Now, over the years, I have been doing this for sundry years, and even though I do have a lot of folklore and folk tales behind me, I want to let you all know that at the end of the day, you'll, whatever you want to call it, has nothing to do with me. It does not have anything to do with me. You see, at the end of the day, you'll happens, has to do with the birth of Jesus, Son of God. The King of Kings, the Kaiser of Kaisers, the Lord of Lords, the Earl of Earls. Now, for the Christian folk out there, Jesus, God gave Jesus to us as a gift. A gift from God to all mankind and all womankind. To those who believe and to those who do not believe. You see, we men and women are sinful. And even though God is loving and forgiving and caring and kind and gen you know, and rightfulness and holy, our sins made us dirty. So we could not go to heaven. No need how good a life we did. Our sins, our misdeeds, whatever you want, made us dirty. But you see, God is love. God is forgiving. God is holy in righteousness. And that loving, forgiving, righteousness and holy and good side, God so loved and forgave us so much that even though God is good and God is holy and He's righteousness, He is also loving and forgiving. He gave us Jesus, His Son, the only man to ever be holy. The only man who to be flawless. The only man to be sinless. The man who went through life being the man who lived the flawless life. The sinless life. A man who also died so we could all have those sins washed away through his blood. And through all of that, God loved us so much and forgave us so much he was willing to do that for to his son. And Jesus loved us and forgave us so much he was willing to go through it. 
and through God and through Jesus, God in Jesus forgave us, loved us, forgave us, and cleaned away all those sins so we could be clean once again. So we could go to heaven after we die in our afterlife, have a stead in heaven with God and with Jesus. I give gifts out on you the same way God gave Jesus to all mankind and womankind as a gift, to those who believe and to those who do not believe. The same way those wise men gave gifts to Jesus when he was born, whenever, however that was. So, I always want to let folks know that you has nothing to do with me. And it never will have anything to do with me. At the end of the day, I am nothing more than the underling of the one who is the highest king. Shit. At the end of the day, I am only the underling of God and Jesus. Oh look, it's Mario! And Luigi! Well Mario, well Luigi, what brings you both here? We came to say hi to you and wish you happy Yule since we might not see you by the time Yule comes along, Mario says. That's right, Luigi says. We come to wish you a happy Yule since we might not see you before Yule happens. Happy yo, Mario. Happy yo, Luigi. <sighs> and now, we're going to get down to the true grounds, you know, why we're here. The other grounds. So there's a tag team out there, and we know that we are free, we are at least a two-time TWF tag team fighters and we're hoping to become three-time TWF world tag team fighters. So we do want to have another team out there who thinks that they could beat us. We're calling you out. Out of all on look to you mankind and Calistro, at the end of the day we both really, truly believe that we could be the ones to beat you. Well, hold on over here, Sonic says, because since me and Tails also believe that we should, I can't stand up in a ring, we believe that we should be, you know, the ones fighting, you know, mankind and Calistro, Sonic says. Fuck with this one. And up. Uh, mm. Now we believe we should be the ones, you know, to fight mankind of Calistro for the TWF World Tag Team winnings, Sonic says. Yeah, Tails says, we should be the ones that should be fighting them. I mean, to all, to all need it on look to you both, we should be the ones doing it. And I wonder if someone out here is going to make, is going to give us, you know, what we want. Well, I do know one thing Mike Wayne says, there's only someone, only one fellow here that can do it. Well, here comes the clip door in the ring. Here's Astronema. All right. I can't stand up in the ring. Stand up. All right. Mario, Luigi, Sonic, Tails. You all want to have a fight? You want to have a match? And whoever wins between you two will have the rights to take on Mankind and Calistro for the TWF World Tag Team winnings. So here today, on Dynamite or Might, we will see Mario and Luigi fight Sonic and Tails. Astronomer goes, 
Well, Ecliptor says, Ecliptor goes, never seen a day where we'd see Mar and Luigi fight Sonic and Tails. I mean, this is great. It's going to be a wonderful match. A wonderful fight. Ecliptor goes, good one, my underling. Good one, my elderling. Good one, my daughter. Oh, thank you again, Ecliptor. This match, this fight starts now. Well, shit! Well, we just heard from, we just heard from Astrama, Mike Lane says. And now we're going to have Mario and Luigi wrestle or fight Sonic or Tails, Mike Lane says. Well, Tony Schiavone said no one really thought that they would see today were two well-known film game cells, Mario and Luigi from Nintendo, or whatever the English word for that would be, I guess Gate of Heaven, and Sega cells, whatever the English word for that would be. Meaning, well, who's going to go out first? Luigi, who came from Big Lots, Tails, I guess, who came from the Vinlander Frith Middle, I guess. Sit over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks a lot. You don't want to stand up. Ah! There. Go with there then. And Sonic, who I believe came from the Vinlander Frith Middle. And so did Mario. Well, Mario just took down Sonic, and Mario and Sonic were fighting on and off for years between the, the, you know, on and off for years, who was the greatest film game self? Was it Mario, or was it Sonic? Ah! <coughs> Mike Lane says, and Mario body slammed Sonic right now. I can't believe I would say that, you know, Mike Lane says. Well, I can tell you one thing Tony Schiavone says. A lot of folks out there always thought that, always some folks thought that Sonic was more cool than Mario and that Sonic could do things that Mario could not do. Then again, Sonic was mostly handicapped by not have being as skilled as Mario is. I mean, oh, Mario missed, Tony Schiavone said. Oh yeah, Mario for body, Sonic with a body slam. I tell you what, Mike Lane, I'll tell you what right now, Mike and Tony, Sonic never became a healer, never was a golf player, never was a Wayne driver, he never was a watersmith. I mean, he hasn't had everything. I mean, Sonic, maybe Leapy, couldn't hold his breath underwater like Mario could. And Mario spent most of all his time fighting Bowser Koopa, and, Ma and Sonic spent all his time fighting Avro Eggman. Both of them not both of them, you know, very hard followers of the four one bonds of evil to be fighting. But at the end of the day, Polly Dangley says I always thought that Mario was more that Sonic was more cool than Mario, because at least Sonic he didn't have to have a mushroom or whatever to get big. Don't Paul Polly Daniel says, Yeah, but then Mario didn't have to get his didn't have to get rings or meant to be big. And at least Mario, if he got small, he was still alive until he got hit again. Then he died, Mike Lane says. And right now Mario just body slammed Sonic. Mario just brought in Luigi, his younger brother, Mike Lane says. And then Sonic just brought in his friend Tails or Miles. And now, oh, Luigi is going to take down Tails or Miles, you know, uh, Mike Lane says. Look out, Tony Schiavone says, Luigi going for there. And the Lu oh, Lu ah, Luigi missed. And now Tails did it. And Tails did not miss. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winners. 
Here are your winners, Sonic and Tails. Well, that means that now Sonic and Tails now have the right, shit, now have the right to face Mankind and Kalistro for the TWF Tag Team winnings whenever that's going, whenever that's going to happen. Mario, I mean, <coughs> Sonic and Tails have beat Mario and Luigi here today on Rampage or Ram through Mike Lane says. You got that right. And now Sonic and Tails have the right to fight Mankind and Kalistro now. The TWF World Tag Team Fighters. Tony Schiavone says. Yeah. I knew coming in, Paulie dangerously says. I knew coming in that Mario and Luigi were going to lose. I knew that Sonic and Tails were going to beat Mario and Luigi. You know, that was my held belief there. And it shifted out to be true, Paulie dangerously says. Well, right now, Tony Schiavone, I mean, my mistake. Now, Joey Styles is going to be talking with Sonic and Tails now. Take it away, Joey Styles. Thank you, Mike Lane and Tony Schiavone. I'm going to be talking with Sonic and Tails here today on Dynamite or Mike. All right, Sonic. You and Tails just beat your longtime foes, now friends, Mario and Luigi. Yes, you know, Joey Styles, uh, none of us came in today thinking that we were going to beat Mario and Luigi. But somehow we did. And somehow me and Tails now have the right to take on Mankind and Kalistro for the TWF World Tag Team winnings. Now, I know some folks out there are going to think that I, that me and Mario, or Sonic, I mean me, or Mario are foes, or Luigi and Tails are foes, we're not. I have a lot of onlook for Mario. And he's in Doe, Nintendo and Sega were fighting back in the day in the film game wars over whose film games and film game player was greater. I always had onlook for Mario. Alright? And Mario, you know, he was a good wrestler. He was a good fighter. He gave me a lot. And, but I still beat Mario. And hopefully one day I can fight Mario again. Alright, Tails. What was your take on it? Well, my take was that Sonic beat Mario and I beat Luigi. That two Disney, I mean two Sega selves or Deke selves just beat Nintendo and Deke selves. Can you believe that? And at the end of the day, it was great. I mean, I didn't think coming in here today that we would beat the over Mario Brothers and become the ones to have the right to go for win, fight for the TWF World Tag Team winnings, which are held by Mankind and Kalistro. Mario's a good wrestler, a good fighter. Luigi's a good wrestler and a good fighter. But we still beat them. And if Mario and Luigi want to fight us again, well, we're open to the fight. Sure, stand up. All right. <clears throat> that was my talk with Sonic and Tails. Back to you, Mike Lane and Tony Schiavone. Well, thank you, Tony Schiavone, for talking with Sonic and Tails here today on Rampage or Ram Through. And that's all the time we got here for Rampage or Ram Through. I, Mike Lane, Tony Schiavone, Paulie Dangerously, we hope you like Rampage or Ram Through, and we'll see you tomorrow for Collision or Hit.